more Dr. T's this time than ever. <laughs> and act like a normal person. <laughs> Can you please explain <laughs> the natural cycle FET protocol where you start prog at LA surge and transfer on the fifth day of prog? When my now ex RE explained it, it seemed like he was assuming L8 surge equals ovulation if you catch the quote unquote true peak. Uh, no. So your ovulation peak is somewhere around 18 to 24 hours before you're actually going to peak. So your LH peak is 18 to 24 hours before you're actually going to release your egg sometimes longer, but on average, 18 to 24 hours. And then um, most people will go LH plus seven for the transfer time. You don't actually have to do that. You can start the proj whenever, but that's what most people do when they're doing a natural. It's LH plus seven. So you'd start your proj five days back from that plus seven. So basically two days after the surge or one day after the surge, if you want to hedge your bets. You know, your daughter picked bear too, right? My daughter picked bear. I picked that so say you'd rather be in the forest with a bear. It's everybody. If I was the man with you, I'd be the one running. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what is the longest you've seen someone take to get a cycle after seven days pro vera? Uh, it should work within four or five days. Yeah. What do you recommend after egg retrieval? How do you prep your patients for frozen transfer? Um, letrozole, uh, we do cycle day 21 Lupron, then a letrozole protocol, lots of supplements, vitamins, make sure your thyroid's perfect, hopefully Mediterranean diet, exercise, keep your stress low. Um, if you believe in it, acupuncture, that kind of thing. And then we do your embryo transfer when we've done five days of progesterone. So once your lining gets to eight millimeters, we start double proj, vaginal and injectable, and then we go for your embryo transfer. Hello, Dr. Victory. What can be the best treatment for blocked fallopian tubes with hydrosalpinx army? With hydrosalpinx what? With hydrosalpinx, comma. Oh, I think and my, oh, it's a bunch of comments later. And my one tube is blocked and I don't have children yet. My age is 40. Oh, geez. you need them removed because it's a, they're not going to allow your tube to work. And it's a 50% reduction in your success with IVF. So you actually need to remove your fallopian tubes and then do IVF. Unfortunately, there is no way to unblock block tubes that's reliable. You can go to see an interventional radiologist who can try and bust open the tube, but has a very low chance of success. And at 40, I'd be worried about the success of that anyways, because you're going to eat up a lot of time, which at 40 is valuable time. So I'd be thinking about that. Hello, Dr. V. Can we do lit if I am on antibiotics and steroids, the male? The male? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Dr. V, please do a more in-depth video about immune issues and protocols. I promise it'll go viral. Okay, give me suggestions as to what you want to know. Maybe I'll just do one with the guys from Fertilisys. We're actually planning to do that. So, immune yeah. issues. We're going to have to figure out a weekend time where you and I can meet with them because they're seven hours ahead. Maybe we should just go to Greece and chill out that blue white place. We could. We could. It's clearly work related. Mara will kill both of us, but we could. Yeah. Sneak in, yeah. sneak out. Yeah. Um, someone was asking if there are many high risk OBs in Windsor. Currently, um, there are no true fellowship trained maternal fetal medicine specialists in Windsor. However, um, with the exception of the very complicated stuff, fetal anomalies, things like that, um, everybody here is really good at dealing with any degree of complication. Some of us see more of it, like just by virtue of being a fertility specialist, I tend to get a lot of high risk cases here. Um, so I guess I'm probably as close as they would come to doing high risk, but the wonderful um, Katie Bartlett, who has joined us here, she's awesome at doing high risk stuff. Tom's, Hazen, JC, Chan, Rollin, Suga, like all of my colleagues, you know, Polsky, everybody here is good. I, I'm not including everyone because there's a long list, but everybody here is good. Um, and so, yeah, you could see any of us 